Welcome to my channel. My name is Laura, owner and founder of Getting Fit to Live. I am a sustainable weight loss coach. And here we learn how to heal the mind, body, and soul. So today I wanted to actually go over as the title stated, and I like to go ahead and jump into our topics, okay? I don't wanna hustle you around or anything. I want you to get what you came to get and benefit from it. So I wanted to go over today how to make a calorie deficit easy. And the reason being is because I know how important, especially with the, in, as being an individual who has struggled with um, weight loss and binge eating and emotional eating and things like that, I know for a fact how it can be a trigger um, when you are not sustained. And there's a concept that goes around that you, in order for you to lose weight or when you're on a calorie deficit, you're going to be hungry or you have to be hungry in order for you to have success within your weight loss journey. And that is so far from being true. Okay, I don't go to bed hungry. I have before, so I know exactly how it feels. But as I progressed and learned more in regard to a calorie deficit and nurturing my body as an individual, as a whole, I started to understand that I do not need to go to bed hungry. I do not need to lack. I do not need to make this journey more difficult than what it needs to be. So I wanted to go ahead and share those things with you guys in hopes that you guys will understand that you can fully nurture your body, have moderation and create that, you know, lifestyle that you're looking for. Because again, it's not about just losing the weight. It's about keeping it off. At this point, and I know most of my viewers are in the age that we've been dieting all of our lives, okay? And enough is enough. You know, you want to learn how to create a lifestyle change. And I teach my clients to these processes all the time. So I wanted to go ahead and share those with you. So I do have my notes here because I wanted to make sure that I covered everything. So the first one is going to be volume eating. My go-to, okay? My go-to, I love volume eating. Now, when you do a saw, you know, a quick search on Google of volume eating, they're definitely going to give you um, the greens. You're wanting to fill up on greens and, and um, foods of that nature, and which is totally right. Okay, I'm not going to disregard that at whatsoever. But I want you to understand that there's other ways you can kind of think of this. Okay, because sometimes we don't think outside of the box. Um, so I wanted to help you guys with that aspect. So. I want you to think of it as finding foods that you do enjoy that are less calorically dense. So for example, I enjoy cheese. Now I could have cheese, okay? I can have the regular cheese or whatever, and sometimes on occasions I do. But for the most part, I um, either bulk up a regular cheese, like a pepper jack or something with a fat-free choice. Um, that way I'm able to have more for less. Okay, so that's the whole concept of volume eating. You're wanting to you're wanting to find ways how you can stay full and eat more for less of the calorie intake. Okay, um, again, I don't want you to get so focused. I don't want people to get so so focused on calorie, but under please understand this. Okay, when you are doing any kind of diet, I don't care what it is. It could be keto. It could be paleo, it could be vegan. I don't care what diet it is. The reason why somebody is losing weight unless they are have some type of medical conditions and things like that, of course, there's a lot of things that come to play in this situation. But at the end of the day, if you're at a calorie deficit, you are going to lose weight, period. So at the beginning of time, okay? And again, like I said, yes, if you are have medical conditions, it's gonna make it more difficult and there's ways around that. And if you guys are interested in knowing those things, I can definitely uh, comment in the description, comment and may go ahead and drop a comment and I can go ahead and go into detail on how that's possible and doable. But calorie deficit is exactly how anyone has ever lost weight. I don't care what diet it is, okay? So understand that you still can eat and consume a large amount of larger amounts of food and still be able to make the results that you're wanting to make, okay? So that's gonna be number one. The next one is going to be a higher protein intake and fiber. You know, higher, definitely higher protein, but fiber as well. But when you are consuming more protein, it is going to naturally make you fuller, okay? Us as women, and I'm sure I got more women as viewers than males, but us as women, we tend to 
um, not eat a lot, consume a lot of protein. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. I do have, I, I want you to understand that there are vegan options that you still can have, have receive a high quality of protein. Um, that's totally okay. Okay, so don't seem like you have to consume all meat, but our body going through the process of breaking down the molecular structure of protein it takes more work okay it's it's going to be it's going to take longer for our, our body to break that down so it's going to stay in our stomachs a little bit longer making us more fuller so when you're consuming more protein you're automatically going to be more sustained okay so just including that you know even if it's just more protein at every meal a little bit more protein at every meal and things like that that is going to help you make sure that you are sustained and help with a couple of other things you got to watch my other videos in regards to that what also protein increasing your protein helps with but it's definitely gonna help you stay sustained so number three is going to be my 80 20 rule <laughs> and all my clients gonna test this because i have given this to them countless times okay 80 20 80-20 is going to make sure that you're consuming 80% nutrient dense and then allowing yourself that little window for 20% process, okay? Now, the reason being is when you're consuming more processed foods, and it's some kind of goal in the lines of volume eating for the most part, uh -huh, it just depends. But when you are consuming more processed foods, you are going to be ready for your next meal in the manner of minutes, 30, 30 minutes or so. When you are consuming more nutrient-dense foods, it's going to help you stay sustained longer and fuller, okay? Processed foods go through you like this, okay? Super quick, alrighty? So consuming more nutrient-dense foods can also help. So number four is going to be eating when you're actually hungry. So I know we have this whole, there's also <laughs> this famous line that you have to eat breakfast or you have to eat after six and all those, those things are beautiful and they definitely have its benefits. It isn't needed in order for you to lose weight, okay? So you don't have to eat breakfast if you're not hungry, okay? You can have breakfast food, it could be 12 o'clock, okay, if you're hungry. Um, I, you know, some people use the intermittent fasting, you know, that also, you know, could fall in this category. but get away from the clock and i don't even like that because it's like even intermittent fasting has a window get away from the clock okay <laughs> like go of the clock concept and get more in tune with your body and feed nutri nurture your body <laughs> give your body fuel your body when your body needs the fuel okay fuel it so if it's not at six o'clock in the morning and it's at 11 30 eat you know, and don't feel like every day has to be the same time. Eat when you're hungry, when you're naturally hungry. Wait it out if you're not super hungry in the day. Um, it definitely helps with, you know, managing your caloric intake. Eating when you're hungry has definitely helped me and it could possibly help you as well, okay? Now, number five is gonna be calorie cycling. Okay, so now, this is gonna be for the individual who is really on it with tracking or is interested in getting into tracking and things like that. Okay, so calorie cycling is going to be simply what it states, <laughs> cycling your calories. So a lot of lifters use it when they're lifting or lifting heavier and you know they consume more because you're naturally gonna burn more calories and things like that. But you can use it to, to other benefits as well. So say if you know your weekends are when you're just chill, more relaxed, you know, you, you're, you, you know that you're gonna be going out, you know that you're gonna have more things to do and things like that, you can cycle those calories to the weekend. So you can eat less during the times, during the week that you are um, not consuming as much, you might be more active, you know, um, hands-on, you might be doing more working and things like that, so you're not food, food focused. And then on the weekends, you have a more flexibility. Okay, so you're just cycling those calories and rolling them over um, to the weekend. Now, understand that calories go over a span of, you know, not just from day to day. Okay? So it's over a week span. It's not um, from day to day, if that makes sense. Okay, so if you have leftover calories, you could just roll it over um, to the next day or to the weekend or whatever, or whatever you feel comfortable. So calorie cycling definitely has helped. Um, it just helps with the process. It makes it a little bit more easier. The other one that kind of falls in line with this and it is carb cycling. So it's the same thing, same thing goes. Um, you're eating more proteins and more fats throughout the week and you're having more carbs for your weekend, okay? So if that's something, or if there's a big birthday and you know your birthday's coming or whatever the case may be, and you just wanna have more flexibility, more be more relaxed, then 
you can it's not and I don't say suffer or you know go without and feel you know that you're you know not getting in enough fuel okay so be careful with that okay because I want you guys to still have a good relationship with food so I want you to be sustained don't starve yourself throughout the week just to be having it you know during the weekend but make it doable so have, make sure you're getting in nutrient-dense foods, so you're staying sustained in your fuel. Make sure you're getting in that protein and things like that, so you are sustained in, in fuel. And then you have more flexibility if um, throughout the weekend or throughout that day or whatever the case may be, and it's may, it'll make sure that you're still within that calorie deficit and still be able to make progress, okay? Number six or seven. I think it's seven, or well, let's, let's call it six, because I know I kind of combined carb cycling and calorie cycling. So number six is going to be tea and coffee, okay? Now, mind you, I do not want you to get used to this um, just to be an appetite suppressant. Okay, I want you, you, I want you to get in the, you know, just utilize it as, hey, you know, I'm not as super hungry for a meal. You know, let me just drink a cup of coffee and a cup of tea and, and see how it does, you know? Or I don't feel like I can eat a whole meal right now. I think I can go a little bit longer, but I'm a little bit, you know, I'm, feels like I'm getting, you know, have a cup of tea, have a, have a cup of coffee. It'll definitely help in the process. I have my cup of coffee every morning. It definitely helps me not be as food focused because I have that warmness in my tummy. Um, I know that I don't need the food right now. Um, but again, it's going to take you to get familiar with your body and your hunger signals. Okay. Number seven. Now, I want you guys to be real. This is just like with the tea and coffee. Okay. This is just a little hack. All right gum okay now i want you to make sure if you this is to help you if you are super food focused and you know that you're really not hungry but you want something gum okay put a, pop a piece of gum in your mouth again please if you are hungry eat by all means if you are hungry and you know that you are hungry eat don't you know, make yourself eat some gum or, you know, do things that's going to make you uncomfortable and and making this journey more hard than it needs to be. These are just little things that are, can help you in the interim while you're building up that, you know, ability to be able to get more in tune with your hunger signals and understanding, okay, yeah, I'm really hungry or no, I'm not. And, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what this is for, okay? So it'll definitely help again at the end of the day. So you're not snacking, you know, and all of that. So if it's, if you're quick to grab, grab a snack, you know, chips or whatever, keep some gum in your desk, you know, keep something like that in your desk. So you're not constantly popping in, you know, tons of chips and crackers and candies and utilize that. So you are ha eat, actually when you're sitting down to eat, you have your color, your calories, so you can nurture and fuel your body instead of that processed crap. Okay. So that's gonna wrap this video up. Okay. I definitely hope that these tool, these tips help. Um, go ahead and make sure that you like and subscribe and share this with somebody because I know they've helped me. If you have any other questions in regards to each one of those, please comment in the comment section. And remember, okay, this is mind, body, and soul. Um, my next video, I am going to be touching on emotions and how to process them like a boss in my support group. We're actually going through that right now and I am loving it. My ladies are doing the dang thing and I'm super excited for the growth and the progress. And if you are not a part of my support group, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I really don't know what you're doing. I'm currently active right now and they're daily. Take advantage of that. Because I'm not, you know, I'm just going to be totally honest. There's going to be a come a point in time where I'm not going to be able to okay be as as present as i am right now so take advantage of that um if you have any questions on one-on-one -on -one coaching all that information is going to be in the link in the description box below remember i love you guys transform your mind and your body will align